Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to diagnose a backlight or an inverter problem on a laptop. So we're just going to power this up and as you can see we're getting no display. And uh, we've got the actual Sony light lighting up but you can't see much on the screen. And uh, if you look closely you may see a little slight display or a little flash on the screen. So what we're going to do is uh, turn this off and I'm going to boot back up into the actual BIOS here and try and get the BIOS to boot up on the screen so I can see it. So what I'm going to do here is just get this BIOS up and then I'm going to get a torch and actually flash that onto the actual screen here to see if I can see any sort of display. Now sometimes you don't always uh, see anything but sometimes you can just see a really faint picture and that can be an inkling. As you can see when I use the camcorder here with the light on it you can actually see there is a little bit of a display there. So that's a good first step to start off with. So what we're going to do next is remove all this actual bezel on the front here and uh, be very careful. What we need to do is just pry around little there and uh, remove that from there. It will take a bit more force than what I just showed you there but it's just giving an example. And then once we've got inside here we're going to have a look at the actual inverter part here and the cable that goes into that. Okay, so you can see the cable going around the outside and there's no display here. So what we need to do is determine whether it's the inverter or the actual backlight that's gone, okay, on the actual laptop itself. So what we're going to do is use a little kit, okay, and uh, you can see here this is the actual uh, cable that's going into the inverter, right? So what we need to do is bypass this inverter just to make sure to see whether the inverter is broken. Now we're going to be using a little lamp kit which is a customization kit for any sort of computer which actually has uh, colored LED lights on them and stuff like that. Well there's a little, little uh, controller in there and there's the power adapter that goes with it. And uh, we're going to be using some of these uh, little connectors and a 12 volt uh, power source to actually light up the lamps. Okay. So once we've got this all set up it's pretty straightforward stuff really. Um, It'll come more clear in a little bit later. But these are the actual cables that we'll I'll be using to uh, plug into the actual device. So what we'll do here is we'll take our plug out of the inverter here and plug that into our little device here. And then from there we'll go into a 12 volt power adapter into the wall. Okay. Now if we don't get no display here, okay. So if we've got no display then the uh, lamps are bad. But if we do get a display, then it will be the actual inverter that is bad. Okay, so let's uh, put all this together. As you can see, we've got the power going from the lamp straight into our little uh, inverter device here. Coming out of there, and we're going to go into a 12 volt feed into the wall. And once we do that, we can turn it on. And if the lamps illuminate, then the actual inverter is bad. Okay, so we'll just switch on, and you sh you might not be able to see it very clearly here, um, but I'll switch it on. You should see the light come on, just uh, very dim there, but that's the actual uh, light coming on, the tubes coming on, and I'll show you the display. You can see the display, okay? So now we know that the tube is good, and the actual inverter is bad. Okay, so let's take another look at uh, another screen we've got here. Now remember you don't have to do it this way, you can actually use a known good screen um, onto another laptop to see whether you've got display there. You can also use multimeters for um, the actual inverter to see if that's failed or you can use a known good inverter as well. There's many different ways to test it, this is just a quick and simple way. But I'll uh, flick the switch on here so you can see the light come on and as you can see it's not a very good example, it's very bright today and uh, but you can see the light coming on and I'll just quickly switch on again as you can see here so we know that the lamp is good now this is a good uh, LCD so I know it works so it's just an example really so we know the actual light is going on which is a good sign now if that didn't come on the lamp would be bad okay so that's uh, that little test done. And the kit you can use are these actual case mods for lamps that will go into any um, custom built PC. And you can get them for about 10 quid uh, online. Okay, and these are the actual kits here. Now you can also use the tubes as well to test inverters and stuff like that or 
uh, plug it in that way um, but it's pretty good uh, to test out stuff as well you can set it up how you like really but you can see the actual kit that you get here is pretty cheap and uh, full of goodies okay and you have to make a couple of little modifications there to get that to work so hope you enjoyed it anyway it's just one way of doing uh, a quick backlight and inverter test with a cheap uh, case mod kit so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now